Well, well, you can see just around us the aftermath from Hurricane Ian. This blown over beach shanty just being a small piece of the evidence that this hurricane brought forth and with it to Southwest Florida. And while this will take some time to rebuild, we're seeing recovery efforts on the island already. It was really uh, like eye opening to see how quickly that water came came up and, and rose. It's a feeling many throughout Southwest Florida are experiencing. We kind of just wanted to see how the beach did. Yeah, we were curious to see how the rest of the island fared as, uh, as we had a lot of water. The aftermath of Hurricane Ian. At Winterberry Beach, people assessing damage. And down the road at this condominium complex, lines from the storm surge outlined on the walls. 11 floors up, Sharon Oler and her son Lewis trying to finish renovating their condo. When it actually started to get intense, I thought, what did I get myself into? Why didn't I stay in Chicago? But even Ian put a stop in their tracks. From our balcony, we could see like the pool across the street completely underground. The water rose, covered the pier, came onto the you know, edge of the land, and then kept rising, covered the pool, and then it was flowing. I mean, pretty powerfully. Across the bay from them, one boat half submerged underwater and another stranded on land, an indication of the amount of time it will take to recover. We've got uh, until 1st of November to have construction done here as a whole. It's, it's been a push to do that and definitely with this, uh, hopefully it doesn't slow things down. But where there's people willing to help, there's hope. I I think a crisis brings out the most beautiful side of people and causes them to work together, to forget the differences they have and focus on helping each other out, no matter if they have differences, which I, <laughs> we all know we need in today's world. And we'll continue to bring you updates on the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, both on air and online over at fox4now.com. For now, reporting on Marco Island, Calvin Lewis, Fox 4.